Okay, this is phase two of this uh, one magnet um, Bedini motor that uh, Johnny Davro and uh, some of the other guys have done this too. But uh, this is the one that caught my attention. Anyway, somebody asked what it looked like on a scope. And it's just a standard Bedini pattern. It just looks like a regular old Bedini H, H pattern until you go crazy with it. <laughs> and then it goes bizarre. But uh, I've got a setup here to show you. There's uh, about 20 volts being held on that cap right now. It's not loaded down. If I load it up, it'll um, take that down to just a few. I'm running this on uh, two AA batteries here. So it's probably around uh, two, two and a half volts. Uh, my amp draws a lot. It's 120 milliamps right now. And this is going to go up a lot more when I show you what I'm going to do here. You notice I have a CFL here, and I've also got a radio, so this is what it sounds like. like that's spinning around. Okay, there's a loaded up cap, and that's uh, four and a half volts, so it's about double what the uh, drive battery is. But now I'm going to show you what uh, I've been playing with today. This is a breadboarded SSG. It's just the standard SSG circuit. There's nothing different about it. And like I say, it's running a standard H pattern um, on this. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to zap this with 12 volts. And if you keep this spinning, first I'll disconnect this. Okay, it's disconnected. And I still have some sort of a wave pattern going on there. Let me connect this up here. Turn the radio down. And there's the cap loading up, 42 volts. This is on a 12 volt battery here. And I've up my amp draw at about 180 milliamps. Here's the H pattern. Um, it's a little harder to adjust with this. Okay, now I'm going I'm to turn on the light. Just to let you know that this thing can run a light. kind of winding down. <laughs> you take the light off and it winds back up again. And this scope, scope just goes crazy. And that's 50 volts on a loaded capacitor. Turn the light on again. Now this light is coming from a third winding on the coil. It's a tri-filer coil down there. Standard Bedini um, bi-filer with an extra 750 turns of 30 gauge on it. And uh, that's what I'm feeding into the ignition coil here. But anyway, I just want to show people what, uh, what this looked like. Very strange little uh, way to do this.